One heavy ass. We are back with the Solo X4 Order and Pass build that we got going on for the Scat Pack. We still got quite a bit to go on the car, but we need to finish the box before we take any further steps on the build. By the end of the video, we are going to have like a 90% finished box. Uh, we do need to put the sides, the back, and the front. We're going to call this the pocket brace right here because this is going to be like an air pocket that's going to take up airspace of the box to give our box the, you know, airspace that it needs. But it's going to act like a bracing point as well too. For today guys, I really want to see the box done completely. Not completely 90% like I just said. But if we can get that done today guys, I'll be happy with the box. Because we just can't really do anything else to the scat pack until the box is done. And then after that, we can start building flush panels, yada yada yada. Before I show you progress on the box, your boy fell victim to the Stanleys, guys. I got some lemonade in there. Man, I can easily drill a hole right here, put a straw through that guy. We'll be sipping through that Stanley like that. Thing, if I put ice in this, man, that lemonade's gonna be freaking cold. All right, so we pretty much got our skeleton built. This is our inner baffle that's gonna go inside here. You'd figure this right here would be for like six order, but it's not. This is gonna be our like brace pocket to block up some of the air. Gonna go like that. I'm gonna sit in there like that and then we're gonna get our lid on top. We're gonna have our window cut out so we can be able to put the sub in. In this area, we are gonna have our port that's gonna blow through the actual car itself, going into the rear deck, man, firing off that back window. That's where our baffle is gonna actually sit at, guys. I am pretty happy the way it's turning out. Uh, once we actually do the window cut out so we can be able to load the sub in, we'll do brace points so that lid does not flex. I'm not too worried about this part right here because it's gonna have that center divider that's gonna actually act like a brace. We will probably go ahead and do a brace for it, this front lid as well too, so it doesn't have no flex. And maybe we'll just do some bracing along the corners as well too of the box, just so the joints don't split apart while the base is hitting. Keep in mind, this is still only a 3000 watt box that's gonna go in there, it's not like it's 5K plus. We want, we didn't take all this time to design and build this box the way that we're going with it for it just to fall apart on us. The next day so we pretty much got like four things left to do on the box and then we can say that the subwoofer box is completed same box same video number one we need to brace all the joints of the box so what i mean by that is i'm gonna put a couple strips of wood on each joint where the box joins so i'm pretty much just gonna like glue them place them staple them pretty much so the box never blows apart where it joins at i did it for the box in my silverado and that thing is like solid it's never gonna fall apart and once again this is only 3000 watts guys and i mean 3000 watts 3000 watts it's i don't feel like it's gonna do a lot of crazy damage like that 
but I'd rather just be safer than sorry and make sure that the box is well put together so it just lasts forever. Number two, we gotta do the cutout for subwoofer install. The front piece of the box, we're gonna do a window cutout. So we're able to mount the sub inside the box, screw it down, then we're gonna put a, a lid on it and that way we'll have access to removing and installing the sub. Which brings us to number three, we gotta do the brace for the window and we do not need no type of flex on that cutout window to install the sub. We need to make sure that that thing is solid and it's not gonna go nowhere once the base is hitting. So a nice little brace probably going up and down with a little top and a bottom on it to secure it even better. Maybe double stack it. Man, that thing's gonna secure that window so there's no flexing, pure base coming out this box. Along with bracing the joints of the box, I'm gonna brace this as well too. Although this is a pocket to pretty much just take up some airspace, I still see some flexibility right here. I'm pretty sure once I put that top on it um, it's not gonna go nowhere but at the same time not gonna take the chance in hearing no clapping sounds later on probably like in a month or so so we're just pretty much just gonna brace this inside right here so it doesn't flex um, just to secure the bag so man there's nothing but pure base coming out from the box then number four staple the top and the front of the box and then we can pretty much say that this box is complete boys I have this piece of three quarter inch plexiglass that I wanted to do in this box so bad I just can't it's just too small to make this actually the loading window with the sub in so that way man you see that solo x guys and it's just uh, a little baby here too small um to do the cutout to be able to get the sub in there because it's you know i think 13 and some change and it's just um not the right size to make it work in order to make this window work so we can see inside there so we can see the solo x i'm very very blowed about that but i do have another piece of plexiglass that we will do once we start doing the um flushing of the trunk so we're gonna put a logo that he wanted to put on there light it up and just make it look good but i'm gonna see what happens throughout the build and see what i can work whip up even if i were to do it right here guys um we'd still be able to see inside the box but then the focal point once we actually do the other plexi on the flush panel is going to take away from you know that logo and it's just going to look a little bit goofy i want the whole install to look stealth like it's a ninja creeping up and putting this on there with the other plexiglass that we are going to do on the flush panels is just going to make it look awkward and i'm not going to feel it i don't know we'll see what happens along the build when i'm working on this um, but I need to make the decision here shortly once I actually go ahead and put this front piece on, man. So we'll see what happens, man. Plexiglass or no plexiglass, and we're going to get this box done today, guys, man. Let's get it. We're back with our man Stanley real quick, guys. Look, I put some ice in this bad boy. And look, you see all the ice? What time is it? Look. Right, so it's 9.31 in the morning. I think I should be done working around like 12, 12.30. Let's see how the ice looks towards that time. It, it is a little chilly right now, but it's going to get hot towards the middle of the day. But man, hot enough to melt the ice, but we'll see what it does in the stand. The chamber joints are braced up guys these are not going to go nowhere now we need to go ahead and do the cutout to be able to install the sub in the box once it actually gets done and installed in the car we need to do the window cutout in order to brace the joints as well too so we're just going to do a small lip along the bottom and we pretty much just need to make sure that we don't overcut and undercut because we want our sub to fit in there perfect now once i get done drawing my lines out i am going to round the corners just so it looks a little bit nicer, you feel me?
All right, guys, I'm gonna do this only one time just because that's one heavy ass fucking I'm only gonna do this once. We're gonna test how it fits inside the window, and that is it. I, let's just do it. Let's get it over. For the record, this is not even fun at all, but we're gonna load the sun in there like this. This is the window for it. See, it goes in. Am I gonna go all the way? That is it. This is one heavy ass subwoofer, but you get the point. We slide it in, we screw it down, and that is it. It's the only time we're gonna practice doing that. But man, that takes a lot out your boy. Few inches later. All right, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'd rather mount 12 subs versus mounting just that one. Hell no. Pretty much what's left to do is finish the bracing for the joints. Then we need to build a brace that's gonna go um, mounted down and going into the window itself. Once the joint braces and the center brace is done, then we can put the top on it, guys, and I can say pretty much that the box is complete. But yeah, let's go ahead and start stapling our joint braces real quick. What I've been building is the actual brace that's gonna hold the top of the box down and that window from flexing. And I was gonna do something with a nice design. Um, so it's either we have a pretty brace that it's gonna do like 75% of its job. It's gonna look good, it's gonna work at the same time, don't get me wrong. Or we have something that's gonna do 100% of the job and just the structure is just solid and there's no weak points. If I want the box to be solid and no flexing whatsoever, I went with this. It's, like I said, it's not the prettiest thing ever, but man, it's gonna do its purpose no matter what. It's gonna go in here like this. Once we got the sub uh, loaded in and everything, we just bring it in here like that. And then we just set it into place. Then we go ahead and screw it down. I did countersink screw so that thing will really, you know, sandwich down. But we still got so much excursion before it even gets anywhere near that brace. So that is perfect. So I'm not going to put the actual top on it just yet because I want to put the box in the car and trace out where the actual snorkel port's going to go. That's going to go through the rear deck. So I'm going to end up doing that once we take the rear deck out and cut it out and know exactly where the box is going to go position at to be able to draw it out make my port that's going to go internally and then we'll externally make another port but let's just actually put the top on it so we can see what it looks like oh yeah look at this thing guys structurally the box is 1000 thing is not going to go nowhere guys this will be our actual loading lid that we just put it on and there it is you'll never see the sub and you'll only just hear cram coming out the the top of the rear deck Brace inside there is definitely snug in there guys. That's exactly what I wanted Man, I want that nice tight fit man So that thing is just like compressed inside there and man that thing is just pounding nothing but bass 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 bass. We are almost done. I will say we're like 85 90% done on the box We just got to do a couple more things and it's gonna be inside the car permanently And then you know, we'll get started on flushing out the trunk building the rear deck Then we're gonna wire that guy up and see what it sounds like man, but hey one thing at a time, like I said the other day, man, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.